Good morning, everybody. All right, well, it's 7.15 Wednesday morning. You know what that means. Time for another Wellness Wednesday edition. Uh, brought to you, thanks in part, to Edgar Casey's ARE. And this morning, we're going to be talking about Divine Atomic Iodine. So, a lot of different uses in the reading for Atomic Iodine. Uh, and this is one where I need to give you a precaution that uh, you need to check with a physician first. If you're pregnant, nursing, or you have any thyroid conditions, you've had your thyroid removed or on any thyroid medications. Because you see everyone, your thyroid gland, located right here, sets your basal metabolic rate. So if you ever wake up in the morning and you're thinking, man, I could use a boost of energy, then you can certainly try this wonderful remedy. Now, you don't need a prescription. You can just simply order it. We have it in the ARE bookstore. You can also get it off of bar.com as well as other websites. So down below, I'm gonna list some uh, additional resources for you uh, to check out atomic iodine. And so again, iodine is required for the thyroid gland to produce its hormones uh, that basically regulate oxygen metabolism in the body. And this is what can give you that boost of energy. Now, iodine is also a natural antiseptic, so it can be used for a variety of conditions. Uh, so externally, you can use iodine over cuts, scrapes, burns, insect bites, uh, you name it. So let me show you some of my favorite things to use atomic iodine for. Now, if you're going to take it to coordinate your glands and boost your energy, you want to set aside a half glass of water right by your bed table first thing in the morning. Uh, now, in the readings, uh, Casey specifically described the use of potassium iodide or iodide of potassium. So there's a lot of places that you can get this. And again, I will list some additional resources below just for you. Um, and so you have different versions of atomic iodine, right? Where some of them are for external use only. Uh, this is the one that I'm currently using. Uh, where it's nascent atomic iodine that's also been electrified. And again, I'll put these up below for you. Uh, there's also one from the iodinesource.com uh, that's pretty good. You can also get versions of atomic iodine that are natural extracts from kelp. So they have iodine. You can also take tablets uh, that have potassium iodine. Uh, but the way that Casey recommended to use it was have your half glass of water by your bedside table first thing in the morning. And on day one, so the very first day, you're just gonna put one drop in the water and drink it. And again, you wanna do this right when you wake up, when you wanna wake up first thing in the morning, uh, about 20 minutes before your first meal. And uh, if you typically drink coffee, you wanna drink a little bit less coffee because again, this is an energy boost, okay? Um, so if you normally drink a lot of coffee, it might be really too much. Uh, and so that's day one is one drop. Now on day two, same thing, just in a half glass of water, you put two drops. On day three, you put three drops. Guess how many on day four? Yeah, you put four drops. And on day five, you can do up to five drops. So you do that for five days, one to five drops, and then you're gonna leave off for two days. So it'd be like Monday through Friday, and then leave off for the weekend. And I typically recommend doing at least one more cycle. Uh, now you can start at one drop or you can do on average about three drops, about three to five drops for that second cycle that you do. So again, if you're gonna use this, start off with one drop and slowly increase one drop every day up to five, take two days off and then do that cycle again, averaging about three drops. Now, because it gives you such a boost in energy, uh, if you start noticing rapid heart rates or you become faint or dizzy, then just simply back off, okay? So really listen to your body here. Uh, but I assure you, uh, after uh, a cycle or two, you'll definitely notice an energy increase, especially first thing in the morning when you wake up. Um, so iodine also has other uses as natural antiseptics. So here's an iodex salve, uh, originally recommended formula in the reading. So again, uh, it's great to take along with you if you go out hiking or in your first aid kit. Uh, so if you get cuts, scrapes, um, any abrasions or injuries, you can just take that uh, iodine-based salve, put it on the body, because again, iodine is naturally antiseptic. If you ever notice any time that you go to give blood or uh, have to uh, get an injection, normally they will rub iodine or betadine over your skin beforehand. 
Now, because it supports the thyroid gland, think about the thyroid gland also controls uh, the growth secretions of your skin, your hair, and your nails. So there's a reading, uh, number 636. So look up reading 636, uh, where he recommends uh, iodine as a part of a tonic, also known as tonic 636. Uh, also known as the beauty tonic, and it has iodine with other herbs in it, uh, taken very small doses, typically with meals. Uh, and this again is to support the healthy growth of hair, skin, and nails. So check out Formula 636. Also check out uh, potassium iodide and other things you can use. It's great to have in your first aid kit. Uh, and certainly to boost your metabolism, give you some good divine energy first thing in the morning. So come on down to Edgar Casey's ARE Bookstore. We are open. We certainly have a lot of these products too. I'll also list some additional resources below. And again, if you're pregnant, if you're nursing, or if you have any thyroid conditions, uh, please check with a qualified physician first. All right, everyone, go out there, boost your energy, and be well. Thank you very much. Bye.